what you're seeing here are three nodes. Um, each of them is currently initialized, so um, they're just waiting for something to happen. Um, on each of the nodes you can initiate a new ball by double pressing the big red button, which I'll do now. So I double press and the ball is left. And you see it arrives in the second one. And um, since no one is pressing the button, the ball is lost. And the first node who initially transmitted it is just retransmitting it. And you see that it's switching between the two nodes. And that's just done purely on a random basis. So um, to actually do something nice with the game, you should press the button before it reaches the bottom. And then you can shoot it back again. Yeah, that was too soon. That was too soon too. That was fine. And you notice that there is a small delay between the ball leaving one of the strips and entering again. And that's purely caused by um, the 200 millisecond interval that I'm resending these messages at, so could probably go a lot faster if we just transmit a message immediately when something happens. Um, but yeah, that's something to be done in the future. So that's actually the, the basic demonstration. So yeah, to show you, no wires connected. This is really just cardboard with duct tape on top of it. And there, uh, both of them, well, the three of them, are connected to um, wireless access point downstairs. So you can have fun with it. Um, and uh, we are also going to take these to job fairs and see how uh, interesting it is for students to play around with these. Um, so that's my take on the one-dimensional pong. Instead of having just one long strip, you can have really as many LED strips and notes as you want. Just make another one like these and you're ready to go.